Hey YouTubers, Chris Wood with Notes from a Vag Vagabond and I'm making a video about this mini split I put in a very small travel trailer. This is an Intec Soul Horizon travel trailer. Um, overall length is 19 feet. It's a tiny trailer, it's light, um, but I wanted to put a mini split in it. <clears throat> I've seen videos on YouTube about putting a mini split in a big big trailer and stuff but nothing this small and I wanted um, you know this came with air conditioning it came with forced air heat but they're loud both units are very loud especially the air conditioning unit and I wanted a, a small unit a lightweight unit um, that was quiet looking for a unit that was quiet but also uh, this mini split, I can run off my solar <clears throat> inverter. Um, you know, I got a solar inverter that's about 2,000 watts, I believe it is. And this, you know, this doesn't need the kind of energy the rooftop air conditioner has. So I wanted something I could run on solar. Um, I got three 200 amp batteries, uh, four or five 200 watt uh, solar panels up here so I'm gonna be able to use this for a certain amount of time just off solar and you know it just depends where and how hot it is and all that kind of stuff but uh, it, I'll be able to turn this on if I'm not plugged in and cool down or heat up the trailer now this isn't a how-to video uh, I'm not gonna go th you know I just First off, I didn't see anybody, any YouTube videos with somebody with a real small trailer doing this. So I just decided to tackle this project myself. <clears throat> and I'll do some close ups, but you know, I just made a back bracket and ran the refrigerant tubes into there's a right behind here, there's some empty storage space and up into the indoor part of this unit, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, this wasn't a simple project, but I wanna say, like I said, this isn't a how-to. Um, I just mounted it to the, to the uh, bumper and it's super solid. It's, it ain't falling off, it ain't going anywhere. Um, I ran the refrigerant tubes to the other unit, the communication cable, and I got an outdoor plug here. So with this, I can either plug it into my solar or plug it into um, regular 110. Uh, but the one thing I wanna say about this install is after I had the whole thing installed and I bought this vacuum check gauge and stuff, it seemed like there might've been a leak. Um, so I called a professional um, air conditioning installing person to come out and check everything and uh, he checked it he checked it for leaks and if you're not real skilled in HVAC I, I would highly suggest before you run one of these things get it checked out by a professional you know it cost me a couple hundred bucks but I'm really glad I did that because during this project I had to cut the refrigerant re refrigerant lines like five feet and when he came, he tested it and checked it, but then he could see that th because I cut the lines, the, uh, there's too high of a pressure. Because when I bought this unit, it came with uh, lines that were like 20 feet long or something, and I cut them down. And because I shortened them, that made uh, the pressure go up. So my suggestion, if you're gonna do this project, get a professional to come check it all out before you uh, take off on it. Now, <clears throat> this is my first uh, shakedown trip with this unit, but it, it rode real well here. You know, I put on an uh, extended uh, tail light here, so the unit, the tail lights are still there, but um, you can't see them as well. So I uh, put another there, another tail light here. So I'll give you a little close up of what I did. Okay, so here's the bracket I made. Um, I had some aluminum that from a different project and I just started, uh, you know, figuring it out. 
putting pieces and putting bolting them and bolting them to the bumper and I had a real flat um, platform there that was real heavy duty and then after I had it installed on there I got this other, I made this other bracket attached it to the trailer so there's no uh, rocking up and down over here is how I ran the lines, the two refrigerant lines, the communication cable, the electrical cord. Um, and the reason I wanted electrical cord I could unplug is so I can plug it into the solar. I have a solar thing over here. Or if I want to plug it into 110 when I'm parked somewhere, I can plug it in there. Um, so this is the storage. This here is, uh, you know, the cables, um, and they're out of the way. And like I said, this is a tiny trailer. It's an Intec Soul Horizon. It's only um, from bumper to the hitch is like 19 feet. So a very small trailer that I put this in. So I'm going to go inside and I'll show you the inside unit. So here's uh, the indoor unit. It is super quiet. I mean, it's not silent, but it's very, very quiet. And off the side there, I ran the lines. I couldn't, this one cabinet, I'm not able to open anymore. So, but I can open this one and then I cut a access so I can still use that storage area. There was a cabinet here I had to remove. And I like the spot I picked to uh, install this. This is back by the bed. I'm going to put a curtain up here someday. So I can just cool the bed area. Um, because if you're in a real hot climate and uh, all you're on is uh, solar, you know, you might want to just cool a little area. This, uh, I got this unit. It's a Cooper Hunter. Um, it's about 1500 bucks. You can get cheaper ones, but some of them are only air conditioning. This is air conditioning and heating. And I think if you're gonna do this, go both ways. Um, I think there's a big benefit. It's a little bit heavier, but I can heat, I can cool. Um, been real happy with it. I believe this was made in the USA, so it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, but um, it's, you got to be kind of skilled to do this project. It's not simple. It'd be easier with two people. I didn't have that luxury, uh, but it can be done by yourself. It just uh, mounting the unit inside was the difficult part because of the long hoses and, and uh, refrigerant lines and all that kind of stuff. But it's a doable project, and I think this is probably the best improvement I've made to this trailer. Anyway, if you like this movie, you know, movie, video, uh, share it with other people, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, um, leave a comment, good or bad, let other people know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.